Hello, this is Coulter. I'll be going over your daily inspections of your Fisher Panda generator. To begin, check for any fuel leaks. Check the fuel manifold, starting with the injection pump and working your way backwards down the fuel line. Check all the connections with any copper crush washers and ensure that there's no fuel leaks. Next, we're going to check the raw water system. We'll start with the inlet to the generator. Work our way up to the inlet to the water pump. Check the cover of the water pump for any leaks. Check the cam screw. Check the seal on the back side of the pump. And check hoses that lead to your siphon brake loop. From there, we'll go up and check the hose clamp on the heat exchanger. From here, we'll check the freshwater system. We'll begin with our inlets from the coolant bottle. We'll come in, we'll check the clamps on the front of the engine. From there, we'll check our bleed ports, one of the thermostat housing, one on the back of the heat exchanger. Going forwards from there, we'll check for any leaks on the exhaust system. Make sure that the water for the exhaust mixing elbow has no leaks there. And coming back around, we'll check the level of your coolant bottle. It should be no more than the max fill line and no less than the first dimple on the bottom. It should be in between this two level. From here, we'll check the oil. We'll check by running our finger on the bottom of a cold oil filter, ensure there's no leaks on the oil filter. And then we will check the level of the oil and the condition of the oil by inspecting the dipstick. When you remove the dipstick, make sure to put it back oriented up like this. From here, we're ready to put the capsule back on and you're ready to go boating. For more information and further assistance, contact your local Fisher Panda dealer or our service department.